Is laser cataract surgery really better than manual cataract surgery? In 2012, our practice was the first in Austin to perform femtosecond laser cataract surgery when we acquired the LensX laser. I had femtosecond laser lens replacement on my own eye, this right eye, with a LensX laser in 2017. And between 2012 and 2021, I personally performed over 3,800 procedures using the LensX femtosecond laser for laser cataract surgery and laser lens replacement. We'll, we'll refer to those terms as LCS, laser cataract surgery, and LLR for laser lens replacement going forward. So hopefully what I have to say has some credibility. And let me give you some background. I've been performing cataract surgery since 1995. This photo is taken in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was my first cataract surgery ever. It was at Lankenau Hospital. Date on the back, February 3rd, 1995. Cataract surgery and lens replacement surgery is a super successful, life-changing, and super safe surgical procedure. Ophthalmologists like myself have been using the femtosecond laser for LASIK surgery since 2002. And I've been performing LASIK since 1997. Between 1997 and 2002, we used a mechanical bladed instrument called a microkeratome to perform the first step of LASIK that involves creation of a corneal flap. In 2002, the femtosecond laser was commercialized for all laser LASIK surgery in the United States. So we adopted the femtosecond laser in our practice and performed all laser bladeless LASIK in 2002 and continue to offer it today. The femtosecond laser made LASIK outcomes safer and more predictable because we were able to introduce the precision of a laser to create a corneal flap that was better than the bladed microkeratome. Over the past 19 years, I haven't performed LASIK with a microkeratome because in my observation and experience, the femtosecond laser for LASIK is better in every way compared to bladed LASIK in terms of safety, outcomes, patient acceptance, predictability, and offering the lowest complication rate possible. History has proven to me that using the femtosecond laser for LASIK is better for the patient, the doctor, and eye surgery practices, period. Now, back to the femtosecond laser for cataract and lens replacement surgery. We thought, or more specifically, I thought that using the laser for cataract and lens replacement would be safer for the patient, more precise, offer better outcomes, and importantly, I thought that patients would demand the laser for their cataract surgery. Patient perception and consumer demand and market forces, I thought, would influence the best ophthalmologists and discriminating patients to seek out laser cataract surgery and laser lens replacement. If you just watch laser cataract surgery and laser lens replacement being performed, the tech the UI is pretty amazing. And between 2012 and 2021, basically 10 years, I kept using the femtosecond laser for LCS and LLR. And what were the results? They were, they were great. There was a very low complication rate. Patient safety was excellent. And we felt that we were offering the best technology for our patient's benefit. We trained our staff and built our practice around and marketed the benefits of LCS and LLR. I really had a good time today on the golf course, John. It was fun, wasn't it? But let's try this for the last shot of the day. Okay, what do you have in mind? Let's see how good your vision really is. What do you mean? Well, I'm gonna hit this 150 yard shot and you're gonna catch it. Okay, let's do it. I got it, I got it. And that's how good laser lens replacement is at Austin Eye. But with all devices and tech, there are flaws and downsides, such as 
Number one, using the LensX laser involves significant costs for the practice. And the LensX requires more surgical time, has certain complications that are inherent with the technology, such as anterior capsule extensions, decentered capsule axis, and incomplete incisions. And I'll show some of these in links to videos that I'll post below. Now these complications are rare and we can manage them. So our patients do well in the end, but when they occur, things get a little hairy and it's very time consuming for the surgeon and the patient to recover from some of these complications related to using the femtosecond laser. So around 2019, in order to decrease some of the complications that we were experiencing with the femtosecond laser for LCS and LLR, I chose to use the laser on all patients receiving a premium lens implant, except for patients with prior RK or cataracts that were super dense, four plus nuclear root beer or black cataracts. My logic was that in these patients, I did not want RK incisions to interfere with a normal capsule lorexis with the laser. And in patients with cataracts, there would be more stress on the capsule lorexis during the surgery. And we know that the capsule lorexis edge is not quite as strong and smooth when made with the laser as it is when made manually. As you can see in some of these scanning electron micrographs where there are ridges in the capsular axis edge of a femtosecond laser created capsular axis, whereas a manual capsular axis has a very smooth continuous edge. Overall, we were doing great and our patients were doing great with LCS and LLR up until March of 2021. And that's when we had a, a realization, a disturbance in the force, a, an aha moment that was a game changer. And that occurred when I visited in our team visited a friend of mine's practice, Dane Brooks, in Plano, Texas. And what I saw was that his practice, which is like a sister practice to ours in that we both specialize in cataract and lens replacement surgery with premium lenses, and we have so much in common in that we own our own ASCs. Our ASCs both have two operating rooms that we use. We each have a lens X femtosecond laser, and we both place a a lot of premium lens implants. Our cost structures and business models are very similar and we have similar adoption rates for patients choosing premium lens implants. In fact, our staff size and our nursing staff size are very similar. But Dr. Brooks did one thing differently than we did. He wasn't using the LensX laser for most of his patients and as a result, he could perform more surgery more efficiently than we ever could because the laser would always slow down our patient flow. We were less efficient and in reality, no safer using the femtosecond laser for cataract or elective lens replacement procedures. But we were adding time and adding expense to the process that could be reallocated to allow us to perform even more cataract surgery in the same amount of time and be more efficient and in many ways offer safer surgery for our patients than we could using the femtosecond laser for LCS or LLR. So on March 8th, 2021, we transitioned from laser cataract surgery and laser lens replacement to premium cataract surgery and premium lens replacement. Here's my analysis of the pros and cons using the femtosecond laser. So back to the question, is laser cataract surgery really better than manual cataract surgery? In my opinion, no. I believe that manual surgery on balance has more advantages, is safer, as predictable as surgery using the femtosecond laser. Manual surgery is more time efficient and provides outcomes that are equal to, if not better, than cataract and lens surgery using the femtosecond laser. As you can see in this chart, laser has certain advantages and manual has certain advantages for cataract and lens replacement surgery. But the bottom line is that in terms of real world outcomes, 
in my hands, in my experience, manual cataract surgery and manual lens replacement using premium lenses is superior to laser lens replacement and laser cataract surgery. So if it were my own eye having surgery today, I'd pick the surgeon that has the best skill and ability to do manual surgery rather than femtosecond laser assisted lens or cataract surgery. One caveat, having a reliable and predictable technique for astigmatic keratotomy or limbal relaxing incisions for manual surgery is in my opinion, key to achieving better outcomes without using a femtosecond laser. Will my opinion change if the tech for femtosecond laser improves significantly over time, then I might go back to using the laser for lens surgery. But in reality, there have been very few improvements in the technology for femtosecond lasers in cataract and lens replacement surgery since 2015. The, the tech is simply plateaued. So we've had to make the following changes since March 8, 2021. We've had to change our website, change our forms and brochures that we use to educate our patients. We've had to retrain our staff on how we discuss and explain and educate patients about premium lens replacement and premium cataract surgery. We've had to update all of our marketing materials. But what have we gained since making this change? Prior to March 2021, 90 to 95% of my patients receiving a premium lens implant would have their surgery using the femtosecond laser as part of our surgical package. And in March, when we changed to using the laser less, only 52% of patients receiving a premium lens implant had surgery using the femtosecond laser. And that number dropped to 7% in April of 2021. So I foresee that number dropping to between 0 and 5% going forward. How are the outcomes? They're outstanding. Results are in my hands safer and more predictable without using the LensX femtosecond laser for cataract and lens replacement surgery. What we learned from Dr. Brooks is that patients care most about how they see and less about the tech that is used to help the surgeon achieve that outcome. With premium cataract and premium lens replacement, it's the lens, the surgeon and the surgical eye care team that determine the outcome. The laser is simply not necessary. As a result of these changes, we're now able to be more efficient, more productive, and help more people because we're not being slowed down by using the femtosecond laser. And our patients benefit, the practice benefits, while offering more cost-effective healthcare. So thank you for your time and attention. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.